Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Unite Pieces channel, and today we are going to recap the action, tech, thriller movie of 2013, called Oblivion. Make sure you watch this video till the end, for a better experience. The movie opens by showing a man named Jack Harper, who always dreams of meeting a beautiful woman he doesn't recognize, he has always dreamed like that for five years, and always wakes up when he remembers it. Five years ago Jack's memory was erased, before being reassigned to Earth with his co-worker, Victoria Ervika, in the year 2077, at that time the inhabitants of the Earth waged a great war to stop the invasion of alien creatures coming from outside the Earth, called the Scavenger, and in the attack the Scavengers destroyed the Moon, resulting in chaos in the form of earthquakes and large tsunamis almost all over the surface of the Earth in close proximity, and to stop the invasion of the Scavenger, nuclear weapons were used so that the Great War could be stopped. However, the side effects of the nuclear attack caused most of the Earth to be contaminated with nuclear radiation, making it very dangerous for humans to live in. Therefore, the remaining humans then built a giant space base, known as Tet. Humans live in Tet, before finally moving to a new planet that is suitable for habitation in the planet is called Titan. Jack and Vika who are currently on Earth are tasked with maintaining hydro rigs, a giant machine that has a working system similar to a dam, where the machines convert seawater into fusion energy, which will be consumed by Tet as a source of power. That morning Vika and Jack will start their daily routine work, which is to check and repair drones. Guard drones belonging to colonies on Earth that have been attacked by scavengers. Jack arrived at a location of the former softball stadium. Jack also managed to find a guard drone that was damaged, due to the fuel cell being stolen during the scavenger attack, and Jack easily repaired the drone. But unbeknownst to Jack, his movements were apparently being watched by a group of scavenger hiding in the dark alley. But when Drone 166 was repaired by Jack, the scavenger group suddenly disappeared. After that Jack went back to the next location where the second drone fell, which apparently the drone was not on land but was in a cave hole underground, while in the distance a scavenger was watching him. Jack decided to enter the cave to look for the drone, while in the cave, Jack who was full of caution and caution began to look for the whereabouts of drone 172, and finally found the drone wrapped in cloth, and when the cloth was opened Jack was immediately entangled in the trap that had been prepared by the scavenger. However, when Jack was surrounded and about to be captured by the scavenger, suddenly drone 166 appeared, which was sent by Fika who immediately shot at the scavenger. After the incident Jack returned to Tet safely. At night when Jack was asleep, suddenly from outside the house appeared a white light that dazzled Jack and Vika. The next morning, Jack checked the location of the crash, and it was discovered that Hydraulic 6 had been destroyed by fire due to the scavenger attack, and as Jack approached the location of the hydraulic crash, Jack found a strange signal caught by his aircraft radar, whose source came not far from the location of the hydraulic crash. When Jack went to the place, Jack found out that the signal came from the ruins of an old building. After successfully deactivating the signal, Jack secretly went to his secret hiding place in a beautiful valley. There Jack kept his found objects. But while relaxing in that place, suddenly from the sky appeared several rescue capsules that made an emergency landing near Jack's hiding location. Seeing this Jack immediately went to the location, Jack immediately reported the situation to Vika and Sally, but Jack was forbidden to go to the location, instead Sally herself would send a drone to the location to check. However, Jack ignored the order and still went to the location. When landing at the capsule location, Jack was very surprised because inside the capsule there were astronauts who were in hibernation, and from one of the capsules it appeared to be a woman Jack often saw in his dreams. But suddenly Drone 166 appeared and shot at all the rescue capsules outside, which still contained the surviving astronauts. Seeing this Jack immediately strapped himself in to protect the one remaining capsule, which contained a woman, whom he often saw in his dreams. So that made the drone leave, and once again from a distance one of the scavengers watched Jack's actions. Seeing that the woman in the capsule was in critical condition, Jack decided to take her to the base with him. Once there, Vika who looked confused and frightened was forced to help Jack treat the woman, and how surprised Jack and Vika were when the woman regained consciousness, because apparently the woman recognized Jack by saying Jack's name, and when she woke up the woman introduced herself as Julia. Julia was told by Vika that she was the only survivor of the emergency capsule landing, and Jack explained the current state of the earth, because it turned out that Julia had been asleep in the capsule for 60 years. In the morning Julia insisted on going to the location where the capsule crashed, 
so Jack was forced to accompany her and take her in his plane, without the consent of Vika. Knowing this made Vika angry and hated Julia's presence even more. When they arrived at the location, they immediately went to the wreckage of the wrecked plane, to find the black box from the plane. When the black box was successfully found by Julia, suddenly a horde of scavenger appeared who immediately surrounded the location, and immediately attacked Jack suddenly. But when Jack was about to be taken by the scavenger, Jack had time to send his plane back to the control tower. When he realized Jack was in a dark room with his hands tied, shortly thereafter a scavenger appeared who questioned Jack, who apparently the man had known Jack Harper well. Jack, who was being held captive, was finally surprised to find out that the scavengers were actually humans just like him. One of the scavengers named Malcolm Beach, revealed something that Jack didn't know, namely the purpose of creating the drones which was actually to kill the remaining human race. Meanwhile in the watchtower, Vika, assisted by Sally, begins to track Jack's whereabouts through Drone 185, and manages to find traces of Jack's DNA that were left behind. The drone immediately traced him, but the existence of Drone 185 was successfully sniffed out by one of the scavenger. Back to Jack, at the scavenger headquarters, Malcolm showed one of the guard drones that they managed to capture, then Malcolm revealed his plan, and why he brought Jack there. There Malcolm asked Jack to reprogram the drone, so that it would be the carrier of a nuclear bomb that would be detonated on the Tet aircraft carrier. But Jack refused, and therefore Sergeant Skykes shot Jack right in the chest. However, because Jack's uniform was bulletproof, Jack only suffered chest pain. After that Julia was immediately pulled by Sergeant Skykes, and he intended to threaten Jack with it. But suddenly the warning alarm for the drone suddenly sounded, making them panic, but in the end Skykes managed to get rid of Drone 185 which was scanning the entrance to the scavenger headquarters. After that Malcolm released Jack and Julia, even prepared a motorcycle for them. Malcolm asked Jack to find out the truth himself. Jack and Julia then immediately went to the ruins of the old building, where Julia was first found. After arriving at the ruins of the building, it turned out that the place was the same place as what was in Jack Harper's dream. There Julia then explained who she really was, that Julia was actually Jack's wife, and this place was the place where Jack had proposed to her, to make her his wife. At first Jack did not believe Julia's words, but in the end Jack believed when Jack remembered the moment of the proposal in this place. What they didn't realize was that Vika had been monitoring them all along, and a jealous Vika then reported Jack and Julia to Sally, revealing that she and Jack were no longer a suitable team for Tet. And because of this report, the drones in the infirmary suddenly reactivated, and went to the control room above. Vika, who was surprised by the appearance of the damaged drone, died instantly after being shot dead by the drone. The drone then targeted Jack, fortunately Julia saved him by shooting the drone using a patrol plane. After that one of the monitors in the control room suddenly activated, and was immediately connected to Sally. Sally tried to persuade Jack by asking Jack to bring Julia to Tet, then Jack could rejoin Tet. However, because Jack refused and left, three drones were ordered by Sally to chase and hunt them. They struggled to avoid the drones even though in the end Jack managed to destroy the three drones. After that Jack and Julia had to make an emergency landing in a desert, but a strange thing happened when Jack was about to check the whereabouts of the drone that he had dropped. Suddenly another patrol plane appeared, and from the plane came out a technician like himself who would repair the drone. Jack was even more confused after approaching the technician because the technician was very similar to him, maybe even it was him. After that a fight ensued between them, causing Julia to get a gunshot wound as a result of their fight. And because of this Jack decided to use his twin's patrol plane with the initials Tech 52, and at that time the plane was immediately activated and flew on autopilot to the Tech 52 tower. Upon arriving there, Jack was again surprised because Jack saw a woman who was very similar to Vika, his colleague in the Tech 49 tower who had previously died. After taking the first aid kit in the tower, Jack immediately returned to where Julia was critical. Long story short after Julia regained consciousness after being treated by Jack, Julia also looked confused because she was in an unfamiliar place, where she saw Jack was alone. Jack finally realized after seeing his twin and Vika's twin, that he and Vika were cloned, and he was not the real Jack Harper. But there Julia managed to convince and strengthen Jack, that he was the real Jack Harper. The next morning Jack and Julia decide to go to the scavenger headquarters, to help them carry out their plan. Jack and Julia's arrival was greeted directly by Malcolm and Sergeant Skies, 
but from one of the hydro rigs, Sally detected the presence of humans and she immediately sent her drone to hunt them down. Soon the drone arrived at the scavenger base, just as Jack and Malcolm were about to send a drone filled with nukes to the Tet base. In the impromptu attack, many scavenger died because they had not prepared themselves for battle, until finally Jack and Sergeant Skies managed to stop the drone attack. But they didn't realize that Malcolm was seriously injured due to the previous attack, while the drone that Jack managed to modify was destroyed by the drone sent by Sally. Malcolm, who was dying, was confused, because the plan they had prepared for a long time had just failed. But Jack had another plan, which was to send his wife, Julia, directly to Tet base alone, because Sally had previously wanted to get Julia. On the way to Tet, Jack also activated the black box to listen to recordings of Julia's journey and other crews while on NASA's Odysseus aircraft. After hearing the recording, Jack began to realize and remember the real events. Back to the present, Jack managed to get closer to Tet base, when he managed to enter Tet, Jack got a tight escort from the drones there. Jack then took out a capsule from the plane, which was known to contain Malcolm who was preparing to blow up Tet with the nuclear bomb he was carrying. Meanwhile, Julia was taken to a secret place, which was on the side of the hill by Jack. Shortly thereafter Sally, who is actually a triangular alien machine, appears and seduces Jack to undo his action and rejoin Tet. But Jack and Malcolm immediately activate the nuclear bomb, until Tet's alien plane is destroyed in space. At the same time the drone that will attack Scavenger's headquarters also dies. A few years later, Julia is seen gardening and it also appears that Julia has a child. Suddenly, they are surprised by the arrival of Sergeant Skies with his subordinates, and there is one other passenger left behind, which turns out to be another clone from Jack Harper, namely Tech 52, and the movie ends. From this movie we can learn that humanity can survive because of the spirit of exploration. The truth can always be found, as long as we never give up looking for it. Thanks for watching.